Hello, everyone. This is your DJ Dottie, and thank you for tuning in to this week's edition of the Weekly Surf Music News. Let's start off today with a few of the biggest announcements we've had this past week. Start packing your bags and get your passports ready, folks. As the summer draws near, the surf and instro festivals worldwide are back once again. First and foremost, after a two-year hiatus, the Surf Guitar 101 convention returns with a lineup that will melt your reverb-loving face off. Coming all the way from Italy is none other than the international surf ambassador, Surfer Joe. The Nebulas will also grace the stage, as will SoCal favorites, the Volcanics, who are going to rock your world, and the Scimitars with their sultry sounds. From Northern California, the Mach 4 will knock your socks off, and this year's all-star tribute will be to Richie Potalor, also known as Richie Allen the prolific musician, producer, and songwriter. And there may be an additional international band added to the roster if the stars align, folks. A great lineup, as well as record labels, bands, and vendors will have their merchandise and products for sale. It's happening on Sunday, the 31st of July from 11 a.m. to 6 p.m. Pacific time in Hollywood, California at the beautiful and historic American Legion Hall, Hollywood Post 43, which is located in the heart of Hollywood. Come on down with the family for a fun reverb fuel day for great music to see old friends and make new ones. Make sure to head over to surfguitar101.com and follow the SG101 convention thread for more details and announcements as the time draws near and follow the Surf Guitar 101 page on Facebook as well. The weekend before the SG101 convention, You'll definitely want to head up to the Pacific Northwest for the third annual Surf by Surf West show. Two whole days of sweet sounds, folks. July 22nd and 23rd in Seattle's own Daryl's Tavern. Friday the 22nd, the Boss Martians, the Nebulas, the Evanstones grace the stage, starting at 8 p.m. Pacific time. And on Saturday the 23rd, prepare yourself for a full day of fun, beginning at 12 noon Pacific time with the Destroyers, Sheever, the Desolate Coast, the Seatopians, Muerte Men, Banzai Surf, the Cosmic Rays, Plank, the Viking Surfers, and the Woodhavens. For more info, go to the events page on Facebook and RSVP so the whole world will know you'll be going. The 16th of July, everyone should head up to Northern California where the second reverb arrival will be happening at Winter's Tavern in Pacifica, California with eight bands that will delight the reverb into you. The Volcanics, the Young Barons, King Ghidorah, the Del Novas, and Bond Girl. On their locals only stage will be Chillingsworth Surfingham, the only band on earth where adorable cuddly bear and surf music combine into one. Reverb Wars will also be there and Bogsville with a free after party with the surf creeps. Sounds like a full day of fun to me. And also recently announced is the Great Lakes Surf Battle, number 17. Head on over to lovely Toronto, Ontario, Canada on Thursday the 30th of June at Seascape at 9 p.m. and Saturday the 2nd of July at the Garrison at 8 p.m. The incredible lineup this year includes Mark Malibu and the Wasegas, Green Reflectors, Blue Demons, Nuclear Juarez, Lou Wow or Die, Surf Western Home and his Wild Wildcats, Chairman of the Boards, with MC Wolfman and DJ Swankenstein. I'll have further surf music festival announcements for additional summer and fall shows in the upcoming weeks. In other show happenings, in New York, Unsteady Freddy is hosting his monthly surf rock shindig at Auto Shrunken Head on the 7th of May, beginning at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, with this month featuring The Chillers, Blue Wave Theory, and White Doubt. In lieu of this month's Surfing Sunday show at the Huntington Beach Pier Plaza, Jeff Big Tiki Dude has organized a surf show on the 22nd of May, starting at 12 p.m. Pacific Standard Time at Surf Dog Sports Grill in Huntington Beach. The OC Surf Band Showcase. Come and see the local surf music talent folks. On the bill is the Black Ball Bandits, the Fabulous Nomads, the Deweys, the Magnetos, the Reventlos, and Matt Heary and the Thrashers. A portion of the proceeds will go to the Huntington Beach International Surf Museum. So make sure to come out and support a good cause. You're going to have an amazingly fun time if you are in France this weekend. Lots of great shows to attend. 
the Wave Chargers have hit the road and have a full roster of summer shows, including an upcoming one this week on the 5th at Le Bistro in La Havre. Make sure to follow them on Facebook and Instagram for their full schedule of shows and to see where they will be near you. Also on the 5th, you can catch the Surf's Up number three show at the Olympic Cafe with Los Muertos, Los Atarayas, and Rima. Also in France, our friends Les Agamemnons have two shows back to back this weekend. The 6th of May at Nopi Bar and Club in Paris and one on the 7th in Genève at the Atelier Bermuda inauguration beginning at 1400 hours. Go to their social media pages like the lovely Liz Agamemnon fans in the show flyer for further details. Rounding up the French shows, Los Bichos from London are currently on tour in support of their wonderful album titled Let the Festivities Begin. Check out their current tour dates on their website this week. They are in Belgium and France, so some of you lucky folks have an opportunity to dance to their cumbia beats in person. And for us unfortunates that can't see them live just yet, we can purchase their album digitally it's available on many platforms. Or get a CD copy via Bandcamp. Their vinyl is currently sold out, so maybe the vinyl gods will favor us with a reprint soon. And speaking of dancing, I recently had a breeze chat with Bernard and Rebecca Yin from Car Avion. Not only did they play the Tiki Oasis in Arizona this past weekend, but they have a slew of upcoming shows this summer. Make sure to follow them on social media to keep updated on what they are up to. Bernard mentioned that they have new music in the works and they are evolving their sound to include more dancey tunes. I can't wait to hear what they have in store for us. I love when bands push the envelope. Music's about evolution, folks. If it wasn't, we'd be rocking out to loops and harpsichords. In recent news, Surf Cookie Records, a division of Green Cookie Records, has just announced this past Friday the release of two albums. For those of you who have been waiting for years like I have, the wait is now over. As the Wise from Japan have a brand new album titled A Day on Mercury. It is currently available on vinyl and digitally through Surf Cookie on Bandcamp. Also released this past week is the vinyl edition of Santa Ana Bay Coconuts album, Harbor City Surfing, in a plain black edition and very limited aged Olympic white vinyl. Head on over to Bandcamp and pick them both up today. And in other news from Japan, the Routes have just announced a brand new release of Kraftwerk songs arranged as in Strohs, titled The Twang Machine. This album will be headed our way on the 3rd of June with an LP release from Topsy Turvy Records in Europe. And in the US, Double Crown and Otitis Media will be partnering up on the CD release of this album. I'm definitely looking forward to this album, folks. From Helsinki, Finland, Marianne Hawkins has a new video out to accompany the single release of their song, Snake Planet, a cut which will also be included on their self-titled forthcoming album, which will be out on the 20th of May. You can pre-order their digital album on Bandcamp, and for now, enjoy three tracks to stream. Those three tracks are great. Check them out, folks. In surf radio and broadcast news, John Blair from famed and legendary surf fan John and the Night Riders and author of three essential music books, The Illustrated Discography of Surf Music, 1961 through 1965, The Illustrated Discography of Hot Rod Music, 1961 to 1965, and his most recent work for the Images of America book series, Southern California Surf Music, 1960 to 1966, has the most amazing monthly podcast show, which is ending this month. If you haven't tuned in yet, it's called Bad News. And frankly, the only thing bad about it is that it is badass. Chock full of hard, if not impossible to find music, as well as graced with John's encyclopedic knowledge about the bands, the music, the era. It's in my opinion, one of the best shows on the air featuring classic and surf and hot rock music today. It airs weekly on GTF Instrumental, Tuesdays at 3 a.m., Thursdays at 5 p.m., and Sundays at 11 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And all the shows are available on the GTF Instrumental SoundCloud page to listen over and over to your heart's content. Word on the street is John has some other irons in the fire. I can't wait to see what he's up to next. Also, have you seen the new A Day at the Beach podcast logo? 
They have a new logo created by Steve Blickenstaff, famed artist and theremin player for Atomic Mosquitoes. And I love it. Behold, look, look at its amazingness. Stay at the Beach podcast is curated and hosted by Clint Beachwood. Make sure to tune in online on GTF Instrumental on Sunday at 9 a.m., Tuesdays at 5 p.m. and Thursday at 3 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. You can also listen via the links, which I will include below. And folks, that's the surf news for this week. Thank you for watching and join me next week for more weekly surf music news.